What we want to do is we want to look at where it's increasing, okay, first. So what we're going to do is we're going to scan across the graph, okay, from left to right. So what we're really interested in here, okay, are not the Y values, but the X values. So when you scan across, you can see that the graph is going up, okay, for this piece of the graph, and it's also going up to the right for this piece of the graph. So as the X values are increasing, the Y values are increasing here, and the Y values are increasing here. Now, when we write the intervals, again, we want to think about going from left to right or from low to high. And so here you can see this is going off towards negative infinity. So we have negative infinity, okay, all the way up to where X is negative two, okay? Now, when you do the increasing and decreasing intervals, you want to make them open intervals. You, you don't want to include the endpoints. That's where it's changing direction. It's changing from increasing to decreasing or increasing to constant. So you always want these to be parentheses not the square bracket where it includes that point. Okay, so then also we can see that the graph is going up to the right here when x is greater than one. Okay, so we're gonna put union one to positive infinity. Now where students sometimes go off the tracks is they'll start thinking about the y value. So they might say, well, it's increasing up until y equals negative one. That's not correct. You wanna think about you know what the x values are, okay, and what the y values tell you is, see, the y values are increasing. See, as this graph is going up, see, the y values are increasing only when x is from negative infinity to x is negative 2. So these really represent the x values where the y values are increasing or the graph is going up. Okay, so this is the increasing. Now, you can see here it's constant from x is negative 2 to x is positive 1. So we're going to say constant. I'll just put a c there. And we're going to go from negative 2 to positive one. Again, notice we're using the parentheses, the open interval. It doesn't include the, include the endpoints whenever you do these increasing, decreasing, and constant intervals. And then where is the graph decreasing? Well, you can see nowhere is it going down to the right. So it's just gonna have these increasing and constant intervals. Okay, let's look at example number two. Now this one, we're looking at where it's increasing. So you can see it's going up until you reach it right about there, okay? And then it's going down until you reach right about there, and then it's going back up, okay? So let's do the increasing first. So it's increasing from negative infinity. See, this is going off to the left. So negative infinity up until one, two, negative three. Okay, so from negative infinity to negative three, the graph is going up or increasing. It's also increasing from positive one onward. Okay, again, we're looking from left to right. So when x is one to infinity, the graph is going up. So we have one to positive infinity. Are you with me so far? Okay, so now where is it decreasing? It's decreasing from here to here. Now again, you don't want to make the mistake that some students make. They'll say, oh, it's decreasing from positive 2 to like uh, negative 2. No, those are the y values. You want the x values. So it's decreasing from x is negative 2 all the way to x is positive 1. That's where the graph is going down. So we're looking at this interval right here. So decreasing from negative 2 to positive 1. And then nowhere is the graph constant. Some students might make the mistake and say, well, it's constant for just a brief second right there at the top there or at the bottom there. But only when you see a horizontal line like this would you uh, write it as a constant interval. So I'll have a link to another video I did just talking about interval notation in general if you need to review that about you know the square brackets and the parentheses and you know all of that. So I'll have a link for you for there. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my past videos on uh, Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.